Hi there, you're watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition, the Sacramento Report. I'm Jaime Garza, and I'm joined today by Michael Ward, who is one of the commissioners on the Citizens Redistricting Commission. Yeah. It's kind of a mouthful there, but this really is a, an interesting commission because it is, it's brand new now, and it deals with districting uh, or breaking up our state in different districts. Explain to the folks who are watching exactly what this group does and how has it changed? Sure, absolutely. Uh, it's really, it's an exciting time really in California. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, redistricting is an opportunity for the uh, individual citizen, uh, for, for the people at home to get involved in uh, changing state democracy. Uh, redistricting allows for that. What we're doing is, uh, this commission is an independent body uh, with 14 nonpartisan members, uh, five Democrats, five Republicans, and four independents. Uh, and uh, we take the census data, the federal census data, and apply it to the communities in California to see how it affects them how they've changed, and then uh, uh, provide the, uh, the citizens, uh, the community, an opportunity to provide feedback on how they would be best represented in uh, drawing the lines uh, of their districts. And, and this was, wasn't this on the ballot? I mean, did we, were, we went in to say we want to change the way this particular process is handled, because some people thought, well, there could be uh, partisan politics involved, and, and we're going to adjust it, this, but if, if we make it equal, and we have local citizens on here, it's going to be a little more fair. That's absolutely right. The, the, it was uh, Prop 11 and Prop 20 was actually voted on three times by California voters uh, who uh, overwhelmingly decided that uh, they wanted to change politics as usual uh, by creating this commission. And uh, the, the goal of the commission, by putting citizens that are affected by the outcome of the maps, <laughs> is to put fairness on the map. And, uh, and, and put the power back into the hands of the voters. You guys are right now kind of feeling your way around, taking a look at what's out there. Where do you see this commission going in the short term? Do you see any major changes happening that we as, as voters are gonna see? Absolutely. Uh, well, first of all, I think just the, the, the establishment of the commission uh, is, is a huge change. Understanding that prior to, to this commission being set up and, and the process going on right now, uh, redistricting has been a, a private enterprise of the legislature. Uh, politicians were choosing their voters, and this commission allows for uh, you at home, the voter, to choose uh, your representative in a way that's never been done before. It's a partnership between the commission, the people that draw the lines, and the people that live between them. Michael, you personally, what, what's the attraction here? What, what is it that, that you find interesting about serving on this commission? Well, you know, I, like uh, everybody sitting at home, uh, I live in California. I work in California, I pay taxes in California, and I have a, a big family that all does the same. We also hope to retire in California one day. And so when the opportunity to get involved uh, and, and directly um, impact uh, the next 10 years, what representation looks like in California came available, uh, couldn't wait to get involved. You're talking about representing uh, the state. Uh, do you think at this point, the way things are, are lined up, it's fair? I guess to the voters of California, or do you think we really need to break it down? Uh, well, that's what the, the goal of the commission I mean, yeah. is, is, is. Is prior to the commission, as I mentioned, uh, there was virtually no voice in redistricting. It was a private enterprise. It was a backroom dealing, and and this allows every citizen to directly affect how their communities are represented, what they look like, to ensure that their vote in the middle of, uh, Your of the desert, exactly, right. our neighbor, is, has the same vote as someone in a county uh, next to them or someone on the other side of the state. Uh, one vote uh, is equal with every other vote in the state, and so uh, therefore giving uh, uh, equal voting rights to everybody. That's Fifteen the seconds left. Do you think it's going to be difficult for you? It's already been difficult, oh, has it been? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it certainly is a challenge, but it's one that we're excited uh, to accomplish, and, uh, and we hope that all of California will get involved and make us successful. And that's the key, right? Involvement, if we can get Absolutely. everybody to work together. Michael Ward, thank you, and good luck on this new commission here. Thank we'll you, see how, where we go on this one. And we want to thank you at home for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition as well. Don't forget, you can watch this interview and others by simply going to My Government On Demand, and you're going to find that on Channel 1.